beat him like maybe two or three times. How you been doing it with the mic? All right, so we are rehearsing for my first show back, our first show back. Oh gosh, the Otis and Curtis King, our first show back in some years. Um, this is my first show in almost probably a good almost two years now. Two years, I think, about my son being almost two years. It's about two years and some change. Um, I think the last show I had with Oh Gosh and just in general was um, the Daylight Show, wasn't it? Just about, yes, yes, the, the Daylight Show. The Daylight Show. We had a show with the homie Daylight, and um, yeah, we killed that. That was a good night. Uh, and then life happened. I had a son. Uh, shoot, a lot of stuff happened. I got married, you got married. moved. Um, a lot of stuff happened, and and he and me and this dude right over here, we chilled out from making music for a minute, um, just to get life tragic. in order. It's yeah, man, time. it is tragic. There's a lot of songs that, especially the new music we're making, has reminded me how crazy of a duo that we are. Um, just how much chemistry we have, just in the studio, going back and forth on ideas. But um, in terms of this being the first show back, I know a lot of folks were asking, like, are you nervous about this being like? You're not coming back to like a 20 capacity type of show. You're talking about something like, you know, a few thousand range capacity. Um, no, this is just, this is, this is, once you've done it for so long, it's like, I read something this week that talked about how no matter what you're doing, even like if you're an athlete that is training for a championship, no matter what's going on, every day's practice, even championship day is practice. Because what happens, you want to have another championship. And so you're practicing championship one to become a better champion in championship two, to be more equipped for championship three. So even game day, every day is practice, including game day. So I look at all of these as a continuation of practices that inevitably lead to mastery of some kind, whether it's mastery of performance. So nervous, I'm sure there'll be the usual nerves, just, you know, but I think I got to focus on uh, what is it that I want to get out of it? Um, what's the facts? The facts is I want to have a great show. The facts is I want people to have a good time while being there. I want them to feel like they're having a show and not somebody trying to talk them to death like I've done in the past. <laughs> so um, it's the reason why I wanted Oh Gosh on drums again. Like I just can't imagine doing this music without him, first of all, being involved and two, being on the drums. And then we got um, his homie that I'm meeting for the first time today, yes, D, Major. D Major, coming through, and so he's gonna be on the keys and maybe even on the bass. But not, no nerves, man. It's all practice. It's all even the show itself is practice. You just hope that you've practiced so much before that practice that it doesn't look like a first day practice. But it's all practice. We're just picking up where we left off. Picking up where we left off. I want to reminisce. Before I was a part of IE, before IE was called home. I was in a city called Carson, California. That's where I met Kendrick Lamar. That's where I met Absol. So I was thinking about it one time, and I made this song called King. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, gosh. Let's we'll go ahead and get that. That one I'm going to attempt to keep. That same.
mama, she's so proud. My place is going down, she's so proud. So, obviously, you can see this is a big reason why I took a hiatus from music. Um, I wanted to focus on providing the, the kind of life and lifestyle that I wanted him to have. Um, obviously, my wife is a big factor in that. But um, I took a break from music, man. Uh, there's nothing more fulfilling than being a dad. Yeah, for real. Nothing more fulfilling than being dad. Even though he got red licorice on his fingers right now, and he's probably getting all over my beard, and I'm going to have to get that out later. But um, it's an amazing feeling, and it's something that I wouldn't replace for anything. Not a, no, no show, no fan feedback is nothing compared to what my, my boy gives me. And so um, a lot of things have been changing. With the lifestyle change, one thing had to change was my diet. As I was getting ready for this show, I started cutting carbs because I was like, when I found out I got the show, I was 245. I had been way too comfortable being in the house. And uh, you finna bite me? I was in the house just working on music. Like I really wasn't trying to go outside. I wasn't really trying to go nowhere except for going to the gym, to you know the, the normal regimen. But um, so much of my career has been being out and about. I never had an opportunity to just chill, relax. Uh, and not relax in the sense of not doing work, but I'm still doing work, Like, but focus. On what do you want out of life? What do you want out of this music? What do you want from music? What do you want to do as, as somebody that gives value, as a teacher? And so um, I've always found that I do my best work when I'm not on social media. When I'm not in the mix of everybody's shows, everybody's, you know, everybody's uh, events. I find that I do the best work, like I said, in my business. He like, blah, 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 blah. Go to the next clip, daddy. <laughs> So one thing is very evident. When you start doing good things, big things, or whatever you're doing, somebody gonna try to tell you how to do what you need to do, you know, you get it your damn self. Let's talk about it. Uh, hey, let me tell you what I'm not gonna do. Let you tell me what I'm not gonna do. If you want me to win, just tell me that I lose. I'll race in your lawn, but I won't snow. Let me tell you what I'm not gonna do. Let you tell me how to light my fuse. Are you here for the cloud? All damn that's cool, but I bet you never know what the boss gonna do. Till I feel me a fool. Still can't use a critic, but it's written on the map. 
here we are, and it's game day. I had a lot of preparation that had to be done for this show, a lot of practicing, a lot of times where instead of watching TV, I was just back in the studio rehearsing and rehearsing. And I didn't really feel nerves until the night before, I gotta be honest. The night before, I was sitting watching TV and I was like, oh shit, you got a show tomorrow in front of a gang of people. Are you ready? Did you rehearse enough? And, you know, those feelings didn't go away the next morning, but as I started to get around the fellas and I saw some familiar faces, I felt better about the show. There's no purpose for me to be sitting like this right now. But it looks real hip hop right now, so I'm gonna do it for a second, you know what I mean? Sound check, that's all that is. Alright? Leaving now. There's nothing that's gonna calm your nerves more than having a sound check before your show. And so in this sound check, my whole goal was to make sure, first of all, that I could hear myself, that the band sounded really good. I even got off stage and just listened from the outside point of view to make sure the experience was great for the people that were watching. When I saw Oh Gosh over there going off, and I seen the homie D Major on the keys going off, everybody had a really great energy, and it gave me a lot of confidence going in that we got this. Now let's do work. I'm leaving right now, and the most rapperish thing I'm about to do is meet my wife halfway between our home and this venue so that I can get a jersey, a throwback jersey. So it's like early 2000s rap shit right now. Um, I found it, I was looking for a jersey that had King on the back, and I was like, all right, now that's already a corny concept. How do you not make it corny? And I was like, mm, let me choose a throwback name that nobody would ever use. And I'm like, Bernard King. It's a dope basketball, really, really amazing basketball player to play for. Uh, he played for a few different teams, actually, uh, for the New York Knicks. But I found a, a jersey, all-star game jersey, 1991-1992, that said Bernard. It didn't say Bernard, but it says King on the back, and it's number 30. So I was like, yeah, I got to do that. Only problem is UPS didn't bring it like they said he was going to bring it on Friday. And here it is Saturday. And now I got to go meet my wife halfway to get my jersey. So that's all we're doing right now is driving to get a jersey. Not even a jersey Mike's. Because I am hungry, but a jersey. It's because you got to stunt. You got to stunt hard. You know, that's all that is. And so that's where we're going right now. As the show got closer and closer, as our time to get on stage got closer and closer, all that anxiety, all that nervousness just started to drown away. And I started to just smile more. As I did media, as I talked to people and saw people I hadn't seen in years, and saw how excited they were to see me back, I felt excited about being back. And I felt a certain responsibility to giving a great show while I was up there. Why you always gotta be up in my bed? I gotta admit, sometimes when I sat up there on stage, I just closed my eyes and I forgot I was up there. I just kept saying to myself, thank you, God. Like, I, I'm so grateful to be back up here. I'm not owed this. And I had to literally fight to get back here. But we're back. Come back, King. Yeah, you be glistening. You be glistening. Yeah, you be glistening, but stay up out my business. Yeah, you be glistening. You be glistening. Yeah, you be glistening, but stay up out my business. Feelings in a U-Haul And change directions Watch me put that thing in neutral And get to step and Watch me put that thing in neutral Just give me a second like Why you always gotta be up in my business The way my lady got your mouth I'm like your dentist You are my past And you got me a sickness I had to block your style And make a decision Thank you. 
like a Fred Durst. See, you did it for the cookie like you baby me see. Like, don't be looking me up with a little sister that's bigger than a big sister. Pretty please, you get a big job in the face. Why you got me in my bed? The way my lady at your mouth, I'm like a being Reminisce on how I went from employee to the owner I pick up my son, get him clothed and get the stroller Let's go for a walk while your mama sleep in the covers The weather is clear like the water in Minnesota Work my ass to be here, guess it feel like a diploma I remember I was borderline homeless just a few years ago Before I stepped into this moment Oh gosh, no, I was crashing on the sofa Eating avocado sandwiches and plotting on the come up Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs I feel like when he went back to Apple and started over Just some minimalist living room thoughts in Palo Alto I'm a overthinking, now we singing the boss of Nova Pearl sing the outer for this Oklahoma thunder Business in your name, that's how you open up the summer This the hunger and the cadence of poetry in Pomona Just some young boss starts from a king that got promoted Please don't change, please don't change, please don't change, bro You don't really have to change, be the same, bro Why you only want me following my shadow, boy? You don't know I'm Steve Jobs with the hell, boy different Lost, I go back to the beginning Back when I was drawing X-Men in the kitchen Back when current living was a little kid's vision Ain't believe that I would do it, but I did it Now let's get it When I took a loss, I ain't never played a victim I know muscles can't floss If they never meet resistance I was Microsoft software I could see the brilliance Now they asking how we got here We just take a I'm gonna take a guitar center. I bought a right phone. I bought a 
like that and the show's over all those months of preparation all the rehearsals all the nerves and the show's over in a heartbeat this was an amazing feeling walking off stage and realizing that i accomplished exactly what i set out to accomplish i wanted to give a quality vocal performance and i wanted folks to know my name when i left they didn't know what's crazy is that one of the first people that walked up to me is somebody that i've looked up to here on the west coast for a long time Crooked Eye, blew my mind. Didn't realize it at the moment, but I was just in a haze and it was just a dream come true to finally get back up here and get in my element. That was good. You know what, uh, that man good, that man good. Make noise for them. <laughs> 